Hey, what's up? Welcome to another round. This is episode six, and uh, we're we're glad to be here, and I hope you are too. Oh, okay. So I'm I'm Nathan. I'm Ryan, <laughs> and we do have a special guest this week, Ooh. returning from last episode to this episode. We have, as Ryan introduced him. Mr. Josh. He's back. What's up, dude? Nice to be here again, guys. Yeah, thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> you love me, you know I wish we had someone else sitting there and just throwing like rocks <laughs> or something. Or tomatoes. Yeah. So this is uh, Roselle from Fair State Brewing Cooperative, which is based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. As it says at the end of their name, they're a co they're a co-op. Which, to my understanding, means that they were essentially like community funded. Interesting. So they have like essentially backers behind them. It's, it's I feel like it's the equivalent of like a Kickstarter, like almost like angel investors. Is that what you're saying? I think so. Okay. To my knowledge, I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. But when I was reading up about them, that's kind of what it sounded like. And they kind of started <laughs> off when. Um, the founders went to Austin, Texas, and we're actually sitting in a co-op. I think it's called Black Star Co-op in Austin. And they just fell in love with it there and kind of wanted to recreate something similar up in Minneapolis. So what kind of drink is this? This is a hibiscus sour. Ooh. Whew. I do love myself some good hibiscus. I do love myself a good sour. <laughs> yeah, like a bunch of fact. Picture of hibiscus. Oh, look, they make cool. incredibly good non-alcoholic drinks. So like iced tea, hibiscus tea, amazing. No shit. Yo, yeah. Good time we brought you on for this. You know oh, more about this dude, my hibiscus yeah. No, my hibiscus. family makes hibiscus, um, not, not, not like tea, but like hibiscus, like water. And it is the bomb. Like okay. it is so good. Yeah. So I wonder how this is actually going to taste with alcohol in it. You know the best way to figure out how good? it's going to taste? How? Have a moment of silence. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, spray. Ooh. Ouchie, that one kind of hurt. <laughs> Ouchie? Yeah, some good crash. <laughs> I'm not, I was Nathan's not to get the under it. I was struggling to get my finger under the uh, little thing. Uh, well, cheers. Cheers, boys. Cheers. That that's is it. very strong off the bat. That's it. That's it right there. That's what I like. It doesn't have the same punch that regular hibiscus tea has. I just because the alcohol kind of takes away some of that punch, but it's still pretty good. Yeah. I think for sours on this series so far, I don't know if it's my favorite because Fuck you, guy. <laughs> well, it's just because it's super strong off the bat, but then right after that, instantly lose it. Like, it immediately, like, dissipates. Like, yeah. like that strong flavor. It's like, a, it's almost like shooting up heroin. It's just a quick high. <laughs> <coughs> That's the only analogy ever that you can use for this. Shooting so up you, heroin? Shooting up heroin is the only analogy. Out of every drug. I can attest to that. Shooting up heroin? <laughs> No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you do like I do pick up like the the cranberry s mm -hmm. little bit of aftertaste. But like I I hate cranberry. But I do like this. Okay Josh, you wanna you wanna get us started off with the rating for the taste? Yeah. So as someone that's already had some hibiscus tea. I kind of wish there was more of that flavor in this. And for that reason, I'm going to give it a 7.2. Okay. Still pretty good. Still pretty solid. But it needs a little bit more of the hibiscus flavor in it's, it. It's above a 5. Yeah. <laughs> it's Captain, also above a 3. Thank you, Captain Others. Ryan, would you just the honors? I'll give you the honors of ranking this at 6.6. 6. It's above average. Like, yeah. giving yeah. that five's average, this is above average yeah. for me. 
and I'm gonna go with a 7-4. Mm. Nathan really likes this one. I yeah. do. I've had I've had some some pretty good hibiscus sours or hibiscus ghosts. I'll say in general though the, the taste is very there's nothing like that stands out with it. No, yeah. no, it's it's but that's what I'd I'm say it's a mind. safe selection. Yeah, exactly. It's a very safe sour to choose. Mm -hmm. All right, these cans are interesting. Can design? It's enough to catch your eye and to pull you in, which is a plus always. I mean, the front of the can, you see FS. And you see an A. Yeah. Or what you think is an A. I thought it was an A when I first saw it. Yeah. That, that's what I that's thought. What I thought. It, does A have any sort of relevance to them? What if they only have eight beer? Oh wait, there's a thing on the side. It might, I'm pretty sure it's probably part of their logo. Oh, it is it their is. logo. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, this is, the eight is part of their logo. Oh. I would say the one thing, just to do some criticism, one thing I don't like about it is when I looked at this, I don't know, like, I don't, like, not that I don't know what it is, but I just see the eight, F and S, and that's pretty much it for the can design. It's not very creative. Yeah. I do I do like the two-tone. Yeah. With the pink and like, I guess you say like darker pink or like red flower or leaves or flowers or whatever you call them on here. Hibiscus? Sure. Probably, probably, <laughs> probably what it is. It's probably what it is. It is. Just about. So I'm a big fan of that. I do agree. I really Other than that, there's not too much inf there's not any information really on it on here just it's pretty short and simple and just enough to pass government regulations <laughs> <laughs> very true is. but yeah i could go for the fs being either smaller to show off more of the pink to get more of a sense of the hibiscus because when i first saw it i was like oh this is like a racetrack beer or anything like that just because <laughs> that's the first impression i got I didn't really get the hibiscus in it until I actually looked up at the can, which may or may not be their intention, but I could have definitely gone for some more pink in it, for sure. And I, it did it did catch my eye enough to where I was like, I'll buy it, because like the pink the pink stands out. Yeah, it stands out a lot more than white or black or brown. <laughs> <laughs> so it is something that will catch your eye. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what I base my numbers off of is like, is this something that will catch my eye and make me stop in a store and be like, oh, huh, what is that? Hmm. Because that's what, that's what the whole design is for, essentially. Mm -hmm. or that's what it should be for. Yeah, that's true. I agree. So I guess with that being said, I'll get this started off. I'm going to give this an 8-4. Do you want to go, Josh? Yeah. I'll give this a 7-2. 7-2? Yeah. Want to try you guys may hate me, but I'm actually going to rank this a little bit lower. I was going to rank it probably 4-3. Mm. Below average for me because I feel like so many things could have been better with it. Yeah, I agree. I think propor yeah. the proportions for me is really off. Yeah. No, I think it's it's kind of odd that the they have the logo so big right in the, like, I guess right in the center of it. Mm. Like their logo is front and center and... That's all I see when it's like, I feel like I should see more of what the beer is about. Like yeah, the specialty yeah. of the beer, not the brewing company, because obviously not all cans have their giant logo on the front. Yeah. Final score comes out to a 6.85. Not bad. Not, not bad. bad. A little above average. A little above yeah, average. Yeah, but right like here. Middle of the, middle of the road, basically. Yeah. Upper half. Thanks yeah. for... Uh, Sticking along with us, and thanks Josh for coming again for yeah. another week. Awesome, thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you for having me. With that being said, come back next week for another round. See ya.